Kenya, Kenya has nearly seven and a half million businesses or side hustles. Okay? Seven and a half million businesses or side hustles. But if you look at those that are formally structured, or you look for signals of who is representing themselves as a business, either in a banking world, or has registered as a company, it's only about 1.2, 1.4 million. So over five and a half million businesses are operating in very informal structures. So that's the first statistic, right? Over seven and a half million businesses, but the majority of them are operating in informal structures. The majority of businesses in Kenya earn less than 50,000 shillings a month. The vast majority are less than 50,000 shillings a month. Or about half a million shillings a year. That's the second statistic. The majority of our small businesses are earning less than half a million shillings a year. And if you look globally, if you look globally, and it's no different in Kenya, small businesses generate or account for more than 90% of the jobs in the country. It's the same in Kenya, and if you go into any other continent, if you go into any other country, you will find more than 70% of the jobs are created and supported by small business. So you as small business owners are the engine that drives the economy of this country. And therefore you play a vital role in the well-being and the growth of this country. If you then take that statistic and say, okay, well, we know how many businesses we have in Kenya, we understand the statistic, we are the small businesses, you sitting in this room are part of the engine that employs or provides the financial wherewithal for the majority of people in this country. Let's start looking and comparing how we sit on the world stage. So number one, we're sitting in a very good space. If you, uh, I'll, I'll urge you to read your subscription on the newspaper because they, had, they don't always have interesting articles. But this week, there was an interesting article uh, in the newspapers and they said, East Africa is the fastest growing region on the continent. You are sitting not only in, an, in a business that's driving the employment of this country, you're also sitting in a country that's part of the fastest growing region on the continent. That's good news if you're a business person because you want to be part of a, a growth trajectory, a growth momentum. And so I was curious when I woke up this morning because I had read that article and I said, that is fantastic. Kenya and, and its East African brothers and sisters were growing at a clip that is nearly double, actually even approximating triple the growth rate of the rest of the continent. But what about on the world scale? Who, which country or which region is growing the fastest, where small businesses are generating the fastest growth? And two countries came up, at least in the Google search that I did. Thank you, thank you, Google. And Google told me that India and Indonesia are registering the fastest growth, the fastest growth of small business. And those small businesses are nearly contributing, they're getting to nearly 50% contribution of the GDP of their respective countries. I said, that's, that's interesting news. Let me come back and look at the statistic for Kenya and say, how fast are we growing in terms, are we matching the growth rate of those countries? Are we contributing nearly 50% of the GDP of Kenya? And when I looked at the small businesses here in this country, we're contributing close to 30%. So small businesses, you're responsible for 90% of the employment, but contributing only a third of the GDP. So in India, what is the average revenue for a small business company? And the average revenue for India is approximately 1.3 million shillings a year. 
We, are, we in Kenya, that average is about half of that. So there's an opportunity to grow our revenues. There's an opportunity to increase what it is that we are contributing towards the GDP, which then tells us the challenge that we have and that we will have to work on together is how do you grow your business? How do you double and triple your business so that you have a bigger impact? So that we are improving the livelihoods, not only of your own business, but also the population. Because if you're employing 90% of the population, you are really impacting the livelihood of ev almost every Kenyan in this country. And that's the task that's ahead of us. And when I think about us here as, uh, as Safaricom, as an enterprise business unit, that's the challenge we have in front of ourselves. It's to say, we as a telecommunications company, we as a company that's making a shift from being, just being beyond just connecting your business, but how we're providing you the technology rails that enable your business, do we understand you enough to understand the journey you are on, to grow your revenues, to have a bigger impact, to be able to surpass not only what you're doing within this country, but be able to play on the world stage. It becomes a very important thing to us. I'll leave you with one more statistic, actually two more. All of you know as business owners that m many ideas and many businesses actually don't actually stay the distance. In Kenya, more than 20% of businesses don't make it past the first year. But within 10 years, more than 75% of small businesses will not exist. So if I am responsible for a business unit that's supposed to be serving a business customer, the majority of businesses are small businesses how do I grow a business where 75% of my customer base will not exist? Safaricom is only 25 years old. 25 years ago, it was a small business with an idea. Every one of you in this room has every ability to being a large international organization in 25 years or less because the macros are different. And technology is that great enabler that can allow you to leapfrog the journeys other companies had to make 20 years ago. Safaricom is about being a purpose-led company that's about transforming lives. And that's the measurement that we want to have as enterprise business unit. It's not about how many uh, internet connections we have with you. It's not about did we sell you airtime. It's not about have we sold you a cloud solution or a security solution. But are these solutions fundamentally part of the fabric that's going to help your business grow? That's going to build for you the resiliency and the structures that you need to enable your business to be set up for the next level. Because that which brought you to where you are today is not necessarily the things that we'll, you will need to do to take you to the next level. And we want to be a partner with you on that journey from wherever you are in that part of the journey and be with you and walk with you on your journey for growth. Because we've seen the statistics, we have seen other leading indicators around the world. We have an opportunity to double or triple our growth. We have the opportunity to double, triple, quintuple, 10x grow our revenues. And technology is going to be an underpinning of how you're enabled to do that. And we want to be with you on your journey. Take this series as an opportunity and a partnership for us to understand you better. And for you to expect from us that we're bringing to you solutions that help you in your business. And if we're not doing that, be honest with us. These are the things you need to be. You're where I used to be. You need to be where I want to go and where I need to be. And therefore bring solutions that are affordable, that are accessible, that help me run my business more effectively for growth. And that's the journey we are all on together.